Hello everyone, in this video we're going to see how to import images and videos to Replicant. For that, the first thing we need to do is go to the settings, preference, and search the path of the base folder. So here it is, and we have to open that in, in Windows. And here we have it, and as you can see we have a bunch of folders, one of them is called media, and the other one is audio. In media, we can add here any image or video that we want, and you can have the folder structure that you want. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as it's inside the media folder and for audio as well. So once you have your material inside the media folder, you are good to go. The only thing left is opening the user media panel. If you don't see that, go to Windows, Content, Windows. You have user video and user media. Let's start with user media and click here. As you can see, I already have open and here you can see your folder structure so let's go to image for tutorial if you don't see anything click on the refresh icon and here you will see your images uh, okay let's use this one if you drag and drop it will convert that image as a decal so basically you can place it uh, wherever you want in the scene as and it will work as any other decal inside Replican, which basically is the image projected into the geometry. So as you can see, it's affecting this cube area. Uh, so that's one of the ways to add image to the, to the scene. Another thing that you can do with uh, any image imported into Replican is for example, display in any screen. So let's go select one screen go to details panel in the material a screen and you will find a base color texture where you can basically input any image so let's browse and here it is now the image is displayed on the screen and if you need to adjust it there is this parameters called tiling which you can rotate you can scale in the different axes horizontally and vertically or you can offset it so it's panning up and down or left to right another thing that we can do is uh, instead of using image using videos so go to window content window user video and you will see this display here with all the videos in your media file you can drag and drop as uh, you did with the images and here you can control the play and stop of this particular instance. You can always, uh, for example, if we select this, create a new instance. And as you can see, we have two of the same. But if I play this one, it's not uh, doing anything with the decal we just add. That's because this uh, icon will control any instance that we create dragging from here and this will uh, move anything that we drag from here so let's use another method let's uh, get rid of our decals and let's go to the screen let's go back again to the base color texture and here you can drag and drop this and you can click play here and you have your video playing in the display another way to control this is in the timeline we have to create a video track. You can click on add track video and it will create one. You just have to drag the same uh, input video here. And as you can see, you can preview your videos or it will play with the timeline as well. So you have control over that. And one last thing that you can do is let's create a new avatar. And let's go to the clothing. As you can see, he has a t-shirt. We can go to customization. Uh, let's go, for example, main. And you can access the same image that you have in your media folder. And you can add any image to your clothing. Uh, just make sure you have selected uh, the material slot that you want to affect. Or if you want everything to be affected, you can select everything. And now. 
the entire set will be uh, the image to select. So I think with that we have covered most of what you can do with image and videos in Replicant. Keep in mind, any asset or any material with a base color texture input, you can add any image or video that you want there. So uh, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one. Bye.